2016 was the year where my baggage, my back pain, has started seriously, you know, that thing, L1, L2, L3 and stuff. I'm going to visit the doctor. It's not a hospital, we have one in this, in this complex, so back pain is almost killing me. Holy sh**. I was there yesterday, I had an injection, but it was not enough. I still can't move. I still can't move. I really don't know what this noise is. Okay, we still have some noise in here. My back is getting better. You son of a... Oh, that was injection number two. Holy sh**. 11 p.m. Injection number four. <sighs> Damn. Cool to have your own doctor in the building. Cool. The guy said, I don't need another injection for today. Just if... Just in case if it... If the position, you know, the pain will go worse. I can come over and take another injection, but for now, I'm good. I'm good. Not that good, but I need to be careful. Two ways I had to go. First, doing nothing. And second, uh, going on the street and finding material uh, to keep on creating. My daughter was three at the end of 2017 and I was trying to bring her to her nursery school every morning. Even this was very painful, carrying her to her, you know, that the seat for the kids in the car and things like that was uh, really painful. By the way, this is the first day after one week that I can stand up from the bed without any pain. <laughs> That's such a good feeling. Okay, while I'm gonna rent this studio, I'm still searching for some opportunities in Los Angeles or whatever it is about schools and education because it will take a while till the guys will accept May, my summer and stuff. So until that time, I need a studio to create, you know, to create some stuff, right? I can't sit at home the whole day. Uh, I will need one more injection and I'm going to take that injection right now. We moved into a new building, by the way. At that time, I said new, cause all I see was empty cardboard packing when we was driving off the building every morning, cause a lot of people was uh, moving into that building too, and people had bought new TVs and stuff, especially this large TV package. Cardboards looks to me very, um, very nice. One day I said, I say to myself, you're gonna try this out. Cardboards is very light, it's a light material. You cut it very easily too, is what I was thinking about. And you can paint it as well. I've created my very first art series with seven pieces of work called it the Primitive Mosaic Art Painting. 2nd of April, that's for the lower back pain. And that was a hot coffee. Okay, I'm trying to understand which will be the best size for the canvas. I'm gonna use cardboard because of the lower back thing, I'm sorry. I don't wanna take it to a drama point, but it's the truth. I'm still searching of the sunrise. Of course not. I'm searching for my art statement. I call I mean, it that way because it was so primitive to me. You know, that word primitive, I would have fell in love with it. Because, you know, in, in commissions you don't have that. Everything must be that perfect, you know. These are at the moment only ceramics with the mesh. So glue them all on a wood panel so they can hang it um, in a hotel room on the wall and also I have this too I will, this is a glass mosaic actually stains glass stains glass like this nice materials and everything in size and you don't you can't change anything and stuff like that so i call it the primitive mosaic art painting with the sub category the transition to lightness i guess it will be a long night i'm 
still working on this. I have no clue what this is about. I call it uh, transition to lightness and the reason is I switch to a very light material but it also means lightness is like you know, like brightness um, which came into my life after Lara by by finding this material I had a chance to create in a new way. You watched the third part of the life of a mosaic artist.